Hi, today's topic is Is suicide an option or a solution for failure? The recent incident of Mr. Siddharth of Coffee Coffee Day committing suicide shook the nation. In fact, it was it really shook the people, uh, the business people all over the world. Because he has established Cafe Cafe Day all over the world. And it was a great success. And uh, many people admired his growth. A sudden news when he committed suicide shook the nation. In fact, uh, I saw some of his videos, some of his uh, interviews on the TV channels. Very inspiring. Very inspiring, very energetic. And uh, since I'm from Bangalore, I had a privilege to have some of my meetings in Coffee Coffee Day. And I had a privilege to be in this Coffee Coffee Day, which started from Bangalore. The first coffee, co- coffee, coffee shop, sorry, the first Coffee Coffee in Bangalore. So, all said well, everything was good. But the suicide, nobody expected. And I, I mean, there are some new channels which says that, okay, like uh, there's a lot of loans on him, which amounted some few hundred crores. And maybe that's the reason where he, for, for which he committed suicide. Well, I'm not going to discuss on the personal issues of Mr. Siddharth. I want to just share a general opinion about, you know, why business people commit suicide. In fact, uh, when this, this particular incident happened, I remember before 2012, I was going through a lot of losses in my business and uh, I had a lot of loans, not in crores like Mrs. Siddharth, yes, in some few lakhs. But that was very huge for me. And I had borrowed money from I mean, my friends and relatives and I had a lot of uh, loans from the banks, the credit card loans, which was unable to repay. The one mistake what many people do is like, you know, take more loan to, to repay the other loans. When I tried it, I, I did it. So that's where I, I, be, I became a trap for me. A point came in where I didn't have, there's no end to it. And I don't know how to come out of it. And that's a time when I even, I decided to commit suicide. Luckily, I didn't do that. Or oh, somebody saved me. I mean. So what did I learn from that point was, there are five things which I want to share to people. For people who are going through some failures or in life or who are going through challenges in life. I think this will be benefiting, benefiting you. The five things which I learned. The first thing which I learned from that incident was, what you focus, you attract. What you focus, you attract. So I was focusing on loan. The more I focus on loan, I was attracting loan and loan and loan. So it's a negative energy. Very simple. Okay. The universe gives to you what you are asking for. So my only question was, how do I repay the loan? Okay, what should I do? Can I actually borrow more money? Yes, I was getting more money. But a point came in, everybody said no. But instead of that, I started asking or I started focusing on how much should I earn? On my earnings. I started focusing on my earnings. And believe it or not, everything started to change. And I made it very clear that I'm not going to take or I'm not going to go for the loan anymore. And I'm going to focus on my earnings. When I started focusing on the earnings, I was able to repay my loans. The very first thing is what you focus, you attract. The second one, I had a lot of loans on the credit cards. Loans on the credit cards. The, the bank people will call me and some people will return me. All the things. But one thing which I was, which I found out was I faced them boldly. I mean, I was not actually willing to take the calls before. I used to cut the calls or I used to avoid the calls. But a point came in, I started, I, I, I took the calls boldly and answered them and said, yes, I have to pay you. But right now, I am not a position to pay you. And if you can give me some time, I will pay, pay it to you. Or if you feel that, you have to take legal action. I am ready for that also. So when I gave an option like that, they 
gave me some time to repay the loans. But they said, my civil rating will be affected because of it. And I can never get any loans from any banks. I laughed at them and said, I will never take loan in my life. So the second one which I want to share is, never take loan in your life. Never. Okay, I made it a stand, I made it a point that I will never take loan in my life. And whatever I purchase today is everything on cash. Like I just pay it upfront. I don't take any loans from anybody. So the second thing which I want to share is never take loans. And the funny thing which I'm seeing right now is I'm getting the same calls. The, the banks who said that they will not give me loans are the same people who are calling me and saying, we have pre-approved loan for you. Pre-approved loan. Where I need not to give any documents to them. Just an address proof. That's it. The money will be credited into my account. For which I'm saying, no. I don't want any loan from anybody. The third one which I want to share here is, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. Keep moving slow. Very simple. Let us imagine you are driving a car or a bike and you are driving very rashly, very fast. What happens? There are chances that you will meet with an accident. Same with the business also. Don't go faster, too much fast in business. Step by step. Step by step. Check your, check your speed always. Because very simple to say, you know, there's a saying, simple saying is, many have been trained on how to become successful. And there's a lot of talking on books on how to be su successful. But very few talk about how to handle failures. This is which should not been learned or we, we don't, nobody goes through it. And the fourth one which I want to share here is, the questions you ask during that moment changes your life. I put it the other way, the quality of the questions you ask decides the quality of your life. So when you are in, in a trouble, when you are in, the, in your fix, what are the questions we normally ask? Why I am into this trouble? Why I am going through this failures? Why I am going through these challenges? Why so much of business losses for me? Why loans for me? Why, why, why? When you ask this question, why and why, what happens? You are attracting more negative. More negative. The universe is giving you negative. And you, when, you, when you are in the negative vibes, you attract all negatives. But instead of asking that why question, can I ask like, how can I come out of this? I am already in a failure. I am already into trap. How can I come out of this? Things start to change differently. So the third one is the quality of the questions we ask. What is the quality of the questions we are asking? The fourth one. The quality of the questions what we ask changes everything. And the final one. When you are into trouble, when you that there's no, I mean, you are completely fixed. You are not able to come out. Please seek for a mentor or a coach who is trained in that area. Who can help you out? I'm sorry, don't ask your friends and relatives. They will not be the right person to I mean, guide you. So ask for a proper mentor or a coach. Search for a proper mentor or a coach who can help you out. So when when this uh, when you're talking about this, some, uh, a small story comes to my mind. There are some hunters who laid a trap for some wild animals in the jungle. And unfortunately, the lion was trapped in the net. And the lion was roaring. And his old friend, a rat, crossed and asked the lion, Can I help you? The lion said, How can you help me? You are very small. And the rat said, I need not be big to cut this net. I have teeth to cut this net. That's enough. So the rat started cutting the nets and freed the lion. And the lion came out. Why I am trying to share is, there are many people who are like legends or who are like business tycoons, okay, who are very, very successful, who think that they are already making a lot of money, like a lion, like a king. And somewhere they feel, how can I ask an advice or how can I go and approach a person who is not up to my standard or up to my level? That's a mistake what many people do. So always ask or always search for a mentor or a coach who can help you out in this area if you are trapped. Why I am trying to share is, in fact, I have brought in many people. In fact, I have been doing this for more than 10 years and I have brought many, many people, many, many business people, but especially many business people out of this debt trap. Debt trap. And today they are very, very successful. 
they are out of their loans and their the headaches all their things are out and uh, they are very successful very happy so if you know anybody who is struggling or who is somewhere trapped and you don't know how to come out of it my numbers are flashing here please do call me and i'll be there to help help them out and again if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell symbol next to that if you are new to my facebook live programs be a part of my facebook live programs and again one more request is please visit my website so that you get a lot of testimonies from my website that is www.rapidmindpower.com and uh, share this video to as many people as you can so that at least we can save some people or many people who are on the verge of committing suicide again wilfred sanley signing off from rapid mind power bye thank you have a great day bye